we are gonna make Rex roar. Welcome to Robot Factory. Cal X brand. Come on. I can focus. Come on. There we go. Much better. It's Cal X brand serial MP3 module. Pretty simple little setup. We've got a place here for a micro SD card, pins to talk to and from our Arduino uh, or whatever other device we might be using, uh, and then just a simple three and a half millimeter jack out, uh, making this uh, far more useful than the new iPhones. Um, and we're going to use this, we're going to put some sounds on it, and we're going to use this little board to start working on giving Rex a voice. Okay, so just looking in eBay uh, real quick, I want to show you uh, the board that I'm using, and it it they're they're import boards, right? At least for me here in the U.S., it's an import board uh, made and sold from China. Um, and what we're looking for is this UART Control Serial MP3 player. Uh, in my case, I have that uh, Catalix board, and we're going to go through the data sheet in a minute. But as you can see, if you're looking to start adding audio recordings, basic stuff to your project, 324 for a board. It's a pretty inexpensive product to get your hands on. Um, SparkFun also has a board um, that you can buy. It's a little more expensive. It also requires a little less fidgeting on your part as far as getting it all dialed in and ready to court. It's a little bit more uh, out-of-the-box friendly. But this board is one that I wanted to fiddle with for this project. So you can go ahead and just Google, uh, or your preferred search engine, uh, the Catalix board, and it'll get you to your data sheet. Um, and what that data sheet does, like any other data sheet, it spells out all the various parts and pieces and details. So you can see the board here, uh, top view, bottom view, this area right here, Kind of where I'm scrolling the mouse over the big silver thing is the uh, micro SD card slot. Over here, you've got your three and a half millimeter headphone jack, and then it's just a simple TX, RX, VCC, and ground setup to drive it off of the Arduino. So it's just a real simple serial communication setup, um, which means that we can put it into any number of different devices. So scrolling down some of the particular specs, this board runs directly off of 5 volts VCC so we can use the same power supplies that we're using for both our motors and for our board to go ahead and drive power to this unit. Additionally, it's only 200 milliamp hours so it's not drawing a significant amount. Um, works with either the micro SD card or the micro SD high densities cards. Uh, it needs to be in a FAT16, FAT32 FAT format. Um, I am working off of a Mac, so we're going to see whether or not the OSX journaled format is going to work here. Otherwise, I'm going to need to go ahead and get a, get a Windows machine stood up where I can play with this thing back and forth, even if that's just a, a, a virtual machine on my Mac. Um, but I'm not I'm not set up for that right now. Uh, we need to know that we are going to be working at a serial baud rate of 9600. That's useful because it's the same serial baud communication rate that we are currently using for the communication to and from our voice recognition module. So we've got that going on as well. All right, so basic interface here is laid out for us, tells us what we need to know, additionally tells us kind of what some of the indicators on the actual board are for some of the parts and pieces. We then have all of the commands laid out here. And these commands are written in hex. So much like when we programmed the voice recognition module, which we had to do by sending hex commands, we need to do the same thing here when we are trying to control the board itself. So if you're going to go ahead and use the module with the USB, you need to have an actual USB module, uh, which is the same module that you have used if you've gone ahead and done 
the voice recognition stuff, it's the same module. So you only need one. You just have to get it set up. Um, and what this would be for is to program the board itself, the Catelix board itself. The other thing that we need to do is that we need to put files right in this case they're saying songs in our case they're just going to be mp3 files that are of various dinosaur vocalizations uh, we're going to want a couple of folders a, a 01 folder a 02 folder and then we need to use this particular formatting this 001 xxx so on um, as the the track numbers so that we can easily recognize them with our commands Okay, the data sheet provides all the really essential details, and then it also goes ahead and gives us a really simple little UNO test case, which is what we're going to go through today. So we're going to use this UNO R3, we're going to use the USB cable, uh, our serial MP3 player. I am not going to use a base shield, I don't have a base shield, I'm simply going to use a uh, pin breakout board to move, manage my wire connections. Um, if need be, otherwise I'm just going to go straight off of the the Arduino itself. Um, let's see here, and then as it stands here, uh, we're setting this up on digital pins five and six. Um, so we'll see when we actually get into the the sample software what we're going to do. So you can go ahead; these are clickable links in the PDF uh, that will get you to some demo material uh, and the, the the rest is history we're off to the races okay so we need to go ahead and put some files on here and I'm gonna go ahead and just google up some dinosaur sound effects uh, let's go with t-rex sound effect mp3 All right, find sounds. Let's see what the find sounds link brings us to. Let's try this guy. Okay. Not bad. Let's try this one. Fun fact, I do a lot of my own dinosaur sounds when I'm talking to, to Rex, but I tried doing some recordings of those, and I wasn't happy with how they turned out. So I need to do a little bit more audio engineering to actually start working on my very Tolkien-esque creating my own dinosaur language. Uh, but for right now, we'll just go ahead and find ourselves a couple of files that we can use. Okay, that one doesn't want to load, so we're going to go ahead and download this fella to the desktop and we will do the same thing here okay so now we have a couple of tracks we need to go ahead and rename these we need to rename these with that naming convention so let's go ahead and hop back and let's make sure we get the track names exactly right so that they will play properly in the command system went too far there he thinks all right slow down this is what happens when i get ahead of myself i think i know what i'm talking about and i don't okay so 001XXX. In this case, WAV files though. So let's get this out of the way. Rename 00. Come on, kid. Zero zero one x x x dot wave, and we will do the same thing here. I'm going to rename zero zero zero. Sorry, zero zero two x x x dot wave. 
Okay, so <clears throat> we want to go ahead and get our wiring setup done. So the first thing that we're going to do, uh, make sure we've got our MP3 board out. We're going to go ahead and grab an Uno to use. And we need to get these two kids connected. So we're going to go ahead and just use some female jumper wires off of the board. So I am going to use orange to be RX. And because this is a female to female jumper and I don't have uh, pins headed into this, I'm just going to then use a male to male to make that a male to female. I am going to go ahead and use purple on here as my uh, let's see what I want to do here. I am going to use change in plans. I'm going to use white as my TX on here to white. And you're going to see in a second why I made that choice. Because I don't have a purple male to male. Uh, so I'm going to use purple to red. And purple will go to VCC. But on my Arduino, it will go to VCC as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use a, a pair of blues to connect my grounds. I could have rooted around for another set of blacks. I didn't have those handy, so we'll just go ahead and for our test case, we will use the blue. So we're going to go ahead and connect blue to ground. And because this is the test version, I'm going to just run everything right through the Arduino. I'm going to go ahead and connect red to our 5 volt VCC. And then based upon the code that we were looking at before, we are going to use pins 5 and 6. So our TX, our white, is going to go to pin 5. And our RX in will come from pin 6. It's important to remember, so this is our setup, let's see if we can get that to focus a little bit better. So it's important to remember, come on. Killing me. It's important to remember that your TX and RX pins are going to be reversed from board to board. So what you plug into the TX on your UNO board should go into RX on your serial board and vice versa because they are talking to one another. If you do TX to TX and RX to RX, there is no communication. So with those all set up, now what we can do is take the SD card that we already built, use our micro SD card, and plug that right into our board. And right now we have everything set up here. Next step is to take a look at the code, go through it, upload it, try it out. Okay, so now we're in a good place. We have our board all set up. Um, power going to the board. We've got a green light on the MP3 board itself, and we have good lights on our Uno board as well. So uh, we're connected with the USB cable. So what we're going to do here is just take a second and go through this code to get a sense of how it works. And I'm doing this for the the first time myself here, so I'm not claiming to be an expert with it. This is my first demo uh, with this board, with this code. Um, so we'll see what we can come up with here. All right, so we have all of our commented out stuff. That's great. Here's a place where you can buy that board. Uh, here's a place where you can reference uh, various who the code came from and whatnot. Um, so we are going to include the software serial library because that is the library that's going to help us do a whole bunch of different things. We are defining 
the RX and TX pins on our Arduino. So pin 5 of our Arduino should connect to the TX side of the MP3 module and pin 6 on the Arduino should connect to the RX module. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at that one more time. 6 is going to RX. Yes, 5 is going to TX. Yes, great. That's all set up. <clears throat> Wonderful. Now we are going to go ahead and declare our serial device. My serial consists of the Arduino RX and Arduino TX assignments that we made up here. So now, were we to put this into our larger sketch, all we would have to do is change the pin assignments to correspond to the appropriate serial pins that we want to use, say, on the Mega that is running Rex in general. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and start getting some communication set up, sending our commands so that the code that we are writing in Arduino knows what codes, what commands, I should say, to send to the board itself. So the command play with index is going to send the hex command 0x03. Uh, if we want to go and just do a, let's see, which one, what's it going? Just a command to play. Any place after this that we write in command play, our code is going to send the hex command of 0x0d. So this is where we are specifying out of the data sheet information that we already looked at what commands have to be sent and what we're reading them as. So in this way, I'm able to say, okay, command play with index, that's human readable. I can recognize that. Versus 0x03. The only way for me to know what that's doing is by going back to the data sheet because the hex command is going to vary from board to board, but more importantly, hex is just not a human readable setup. Okay. Then we get into our void setup, those things that we need the program to do once and get things going. Right. So we are going to begin serial communication. So begin serial communication. Then we are going to delay for a half a second to allow the chip to set up and to get the initial uh, selection of our card to happen. Uh, we have that command here, right? So to select the, the card, another uh, just under a quarter second delay, a 200 millisecond delay, and then we're going to go ahead and send the command play with volume first song in the first folder. Our void loop then is empty. Right now, we don't have this going through a whole bunch of different options. And then we have declared this function send command. And what that's doing is it's telling the, the MP3 board itself, it's sending these various steps. So we're sending our starting byte, we're sending the version, how long our command should be in bytes without the starting byte and the ending byte, telling it that a command's coming, telling it whether it should include feedback or, dis or not include feedback. So we want no feedback applied to the output. So we're sending it the no feedback signal. Um, then we have our data transfer, and then we send our ending byte to close out that loop. And then it's just going to go ahead and serial write that so if we pull that up we can see it. So that's where we're at with the code. Again, this is the the test code that came with the program and we're using that. Um, so I always verify my code before I try it. Um, I would rather do it there than do it during the uploading. It's just a personal preference. Uh, I'd rather catch any mistakes if I've made them there. So then we're going to go ahead and we are going to upload that code to the board. Problem uploading to the board. Cannot open the device. And that's because I have my board plugged in to the wrong USB port 
on my computer, I do believe. So let's try and reverse that setting. And that becomes important because when you set up your Arduino, you're going to set it up to recognize a, a given port. So let's see. Uh, let's go up to Tools. Let's go to Board. We've got it on the Uno. Okay, we are selecting the device modem. Let's try it again. Okay, so we've got everything set up. We've got everything wired. Our code is uploaded to our board. It's time to go ahead and give it a test. What I'm using is just this little powered external speaker, uh, Bluetooth speaker, but I've got it hardwired into the jack here that we're using. So all we need to do to see whether or not we've got this set up is we're going to go ahead and turn power on to our external speaker and then we're going to go ahead and apply power to the Arduino. Success! So, what does that mean now? Now, we can go about seeing how we can work that code into the existing voice control code so that when we talk to Rex, Rex can talk back to us. Okay, so I want to use the opportunity here to show you guys how I, as somebody who knows nothing about programming or writing computer code, goes about tinkering and fiddling and trying to figure out how to make this stuff work in here, right? The whole idea is that I want to fiddle. I want to play. I want to learn how to do it myself. But as a result, I, gotta, I have to get in there and fiddle. That's just the, the, the meat and potatoes of it. So I've got some things that I need to look at. First, here in this testing speech code that I've got, Rex 08122016, that's just a file format, that convention that I use day, month, year, um, and then what this is doing. So up until now, this was the code that was running Rex, and it was saved as working code. Um, I've gone ahead and created a copy of that file that I'm calling testing speech because I want my working code to remain working code. So the first thing that I need to do here is to go up and select the board that this is for, right? Here I've got this selected for Uno. I need to make sure that I am on the Mega. So everything that we're going to do here is going to be for the Mega and when we verify our code it's going to verify that it will uh, upload to the Mega. So for the time being I'm going to go line by line and see what is included in the simple test code that I don't have in my testing speech code. So the first thing that I can see is that I need to include the software serial library. So I'm just going to copy and paste that over and comment it. As you guys can see, I follow the the, the concept of comment everything that you do, um, so I am doing that. So uh, we can go ahead and grab all three of these lines here. I'm going to copy and we're going to paste. Okay. And just for formatting's sake, we're going to go ahead and get our formatting lined up. Now, we have two different operations going on here. Um, I've assigned JAWS and eyes and neck servo and JAW servo as integers. Um, this code, the simple test code, is using the define option. Um, I'm going to see if those will work sort of simultaneously side by each in the same code or if they're going to give me problems. If they're going to give me problems, then I'm going to have to go in and fiddle. But again, trying this for the first time and recording it as I go. So now, if we move back over to the simple test code, outside of our void setup, we still have to define these various commands that are going to be sent. Now, one thing that I'm concerned about, and I don't know if I need to be concerned, because we have declared, um, we've defined this TX and RX function here separately, I don't know that I need to be concerned 
about any kind of sort of serial interrupt for the difference between the voice recognition and now this other serial communication. Um, we're going to see. We're going to try it out. We're going to see what happens. Um, if it doesn't work, then I'm going to go and have to dig into the um, into the software kind of libraries and start doing some forum work. Um, but So we're going to give this one go and see how it works. Okay. So void setup. I already have... Now here's an interesting thing. I have serial begin over here. I have my serial begin over in the simple test code. Um, want to go back up and look. We've declared my serial as Arduino TX and RX. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my serial as a separate line and see if it throws any kind of an error for me. And I'm just going to verify this right now and see if it flips out on me. Okay. Uh, okay, I did too many parentheses. So let's try that again. Okay, cool. So that compiled. So we know that these two lines shouldn't interfere I don't think they're going to interfere with one another. So I'm just going to amend this to be serial communication to voice, or I could use the right words, letters. And then start serial communication to MP3. Okay. Um, now I need to go ahead and bring these delay functions over. So I am going to go ahead and insert these before my declarations and attachments, I think. I'm going to try that at least to start. I may end up having to do something different there. So actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and chunk this whole communication loop out after. So here is where we're getting all of the initial functions of rec set up, which we already know work. So we're going to go ahead now and after that, sort of in a separate box, we're going to go ahead and set up all of these options and I'm just going to use some indentation so that I can see that those in particular go specifically with the the serial begin for the mp3 okay so we've got all that so the one thing that I'm not going to bring directly over is this command play with volume 0x0f01, zero 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 which is to play the first song on the volume. Um, I'm not going to bring that over yet. What I am going to do is here down in my send command function, I'm going to bring that whole function over and stick it down here. And I'm going to see if that compiles right, because I may need to fix where a bracket goes. Uh, bracket at the end of the input. So send command. So let's go back up and look. Okay, so I didn't close that out. So I'm going to try and add that bracket there and see if that fixes us. No, it does not. Okay, so let's let's go one by one here. We open. So let's try this. Let's try an open and a close. These two should be affiliated. Still not. Send command was not declared in this scope. Okay, that should be down here now, correct? In our send command option so let's go ahead we're gonna cut this whole 
sucker out. And I'm going to insert that just before my final closing bracket. And we're going to try that. Ugh. Send command not declared. Void send command. Sure looks like I declare it, don't I? Um, okay. As you can see, this is the joy of a guy who doesn't write computer code trying to figure out what to do here. All right, so I'm going to try moving this hunk of code one more time and getting it outside of this whole uh, loop. Unqualified token before. All right, let's just try this. That shouldn't matter, but no, nope, still doesn't matter. All right, well, I'm I'm guessing that this uh, video is going to get really, really long if I record every possible minute of me trying to get this code working. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to stop here. And we're going to go back and look at our setup once again and talk about how we're going to integrate it into Rex. Okay, so we got Rex kind of working on the bench. And I know what you're thinking. He went out and got one of those green mats. Yeah, I went out and got one of those green mats. These things are stupidly expensive, but they're pretty cool. So anyway, um, so I'm going to have to go in and tinker with code to figure out how to get these multiple serial devices working at the same time and what I'm doing wrong. I'm not going to waste your time trying to watch me figure that out, but I will let you know once I get it figured out how I figured it out. So, uh, little column A, little column B. You got to see us at least get the, the, the board working itself, getting files on it, writing code to it, so that we can use that very inexpensive MP3 module to add some sound to our Arduino projects, but also trying to get this slightly more complicated code working, uh, I'm going to have to do some tinkering. So what we'll do real quick here, though, is just kind of go through how, given that we are going to run Rex off of this Mega, how we're going to set our MP3 module up on the Mega. So we only have four wires that we need to worry about. All right, we have our... You shall focus on for you. Come on. Let's see if I can force it. This is exciting, isn't it? Okay. Oh, there you go. All right, so we've got RX, TX, VCC, and ground like we talked about before. So we're going to go ahead and make our hookups based upon the way the code was written. So our Rx in the original code uh, is going to, or I should say TX, let's start that again, hey. Uh, Rx on the MP3 module is gonna go to pin number six on our mega. And TX on our MP3 board is going to go to pin number 5 on our Mega. So those are going to be the wiring hookups that we're going to use. And I'm not going to force that, but okay, there we go. Um, and then we have our ground, which we are going to draw all of our power. We're not going to draw our power for this MP3 module now off of the Arduino itself. We're going to draw it off of the larger power rail that's on our uh, solderless breadboard right now. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to plug in our ground to ground. We're going to plug in our VCC to VCC. Now, right now, as you can see, that board, let's go ahead and get zoomed in there. That solderless breadboard is start to become the home 
to some components itself, right? I've got the the VR, the voice recognition board, right into the solderless breadboard. We've got our current limiting resistors on the solderless breadboard. We've got the rest of our connections on the solderless breadboard. My expectation is that at some point here, our MP3 module is going to go ahead and shift onto the solderless breadboard until it shifts onto a production board. Uh, we will actually start getting into soldered prototyping boards. Right now, this is where we're at for the day. So, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the, what seems to me, an insane number of views on part 11. Um, when I looked last, we had almost 200 views, which I know compared to a lot of YouTubers is absolutely nothing. It's a paltry sum. But for me, it's a tremendous amount of feedback. It's really encouraging to see people wanting to watch a absolutely uh, chuckle-headed lunatic trying to figure out how to build a, a robot dinosaur with no programming experience, no electronics experience, no robotics experience. Um, teaching myself as I go. So... I really appreciate it. Um, as always, like, subscribe, share the videos with folks. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the more attention, the better. Comments, please, if you have ideas, especially about what I'm doing wrong in this batch of code this week, uh, let me know, because I would really like to get it working. Um, and I'm keen to try anything, so I myself am going to be spending the next week with my head buried in forums and uh, C++ and processing and Arduino coding books to see what I can do about getting all of these multiple serial devices to work with one another. I'll probably even watch some YouTube videos. So, that's it for now. Thank you, as always, for coming by, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.